Welcome to the Doll Diaries. Today I'm going to be opening a Barbie oven. Here is the doll's house. It's moving day. I've had to move the doll house into this room while my room is getting renovated. But this is what I'm going to open today. I'll just get the tripod set up so I've got some hands free. Okay, it's out of the main box now. So I'm just going to get all the individual items out of it. Right, we have a table. There were some elastic bits that I needed to cut around the back. Now there's like an imprint here on either side. It's like a two-seater and there's all these holes so you can like dig cups in there so they're not all going to fall off, which is useful. Now this is the upstairs area of the dollhouse, but I'm just going to film here, but then it will be going in the downstairs. And here are the chairs. Now I got this from B&M. B&M Bargains in the UK. So that's what those are looking like. Now I'll see what else I can get out the box. We now have an oven. Now on the picture, they've put a green bowl, which I've already got out and they put it inside here. So I'll just show you the pictures inside. We've got a food mixer. We've got um, a basket of bread and some, I think it's olive oil. And I can't, and I think that's a, um, a bag of flour and some jugs some empty glass jugs and then there's a pie baking in the oven there's some plates and cups a basket of fruit some honey um a cupcake baking tray and a little plant so uh, yeah they're nice little pictures aren't they so you don't at least you don't have to have all those items the more items you have the more there is to like fall over <laughs> so that is that and i've also got a pot out a pan and uh, in the picture they've put it on here on the stove but it, yeah it doesn't look like it sits all that well actually maybe you have to dig it in yeah you do you can dig that in slightly and it will sit better right i'm going to get some more items out i've already got the dolls out but i'm going to save the dolls till last now while i wasn't filming i heard a noise and the pan popped out of that <laughs> so it doesn't like staying there at all now there's some really cool items with this set now here is one of those things that you use for putting in your eggs into a hot pan and then getting your eggs back out again now in the picture they've hung it on this hook here so i'm just going to do the same now the next item is a large serving spoon and they have put that on here now it hasn't got a loop but it has got like a clip the clipping on it doesn't want to go on all that easy actually i'll try sliding it oh no i don't know how they've actually done that Oh, there we go. It has clipped on, but it's, <laughs> it's sticking forward. That's not right, is it? How am I going to do this? Right, I'll get it off. <laughs> Can see a look. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be the other way, but yeah, I have got it hanging in a downwards direction. Oh, good Lord. It looks like I've got some more of these things to do. We've got a spatula. This definitely looks like a baker's kitchen, doesn't it? I'm going to be forceful this time. Be brave. No, it's not. It's not going on. I think if I had it a bit closer to me, it might help. I'm worried about bending this hook. You see, the end is a bit um, thicker down this end, you see. Right, I'll just get it a bit closer to me. I'm glad you're seeing this actually. If a child was doing this, that they might break it. Right, I've done it. I've slid it on. So there we go. <laughs> I've got sore fingers, but I got it on. So the next thing is an oven glove. Now I'd like to try this on Barbie, and it's pretty cool. It looks quilted. It's plastic, obviously. It looks quilted, and it's got the Barbie name. Um, embossed in it so and that on the picture is hanging on there and that's nice and easy to hang now on the picture there you've got a cake it doesn't look like it's been iced does it because it's it's very beige beige bloat they've got that on there and then they've got a carton of eggs 
Now this isn't the first cotton of eggs I've had. I had one with my first Barbie set, the Chicken Keeper, my very first one that I bought in adult life. And then on this, uh, this it looks like icing sugar. Now on the picture, they've actually put that on the table here. Like that. Lovely. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Sorry, I can't see very well what you're looking at. Um, then they've got some gorgeous plates with this set. Oh, they're hearts. And they've got them here, the cider here. I like it when you can put these things in the holes. If you ever have a doll fall over, everything just goes flying. So... Um, it's quite useful actually when you can dig them in even though they look a bit unsightly when there's nothing on them now on the picture they've put a cupcake sorry about my um scab here <laughs> i had an injury with an electric screwdriver recently so yeah i've got a horrible mark on me so we've got a cupcake here And then we've got knife we've got two knives and two forks now they've used them to sit at the table now i eat with my fork in my right hand but i'm going to i'm going to do it the way you should eat your knife in your right hand but my husband eats the same way as i do as well so yeah we're all a bit all over the place my family and how we eat and i think this is an ice cream scoop now on the picture oh good lord it's uh it's got to go on here let's see oh that was nice and easy <laughs> that's great that wasn't too much of bother so i'll just pop the oven at the back here now what you can see here is the packaging it actually looks like a kitchen so you could actually use that in your dollhouse if you wanted to couldn't you there's a bit of a, a bit that you'd have to sort out a little bit to get that the same level like that but yeah you could use that in your kitchen i won't be using it in mine mine you could cut out that window and use it in um in there as well maybe i will cut out that window and there's some quite nice um, kitchen items on the side um there's a window on the other side but there's um a bit missing so you couldn't really oh you can actually have a look i'll show you hopefully you can see this there i thought there was a missing piece but i think it's underneath so yeah you could use that window and use for your doll scenes so now it's time should we get barbie out and chelsea So here is little Chelsea. This is Barbie's youngest sister. She's wearing a little skirt. Well, it's meant to be like a dungaree skirt and it's got all the sprinkles. Actually, they look like more like painkillers, some of them. <laughs> but I think they're supposed to be sprinkles and, um, you know, like thousand, uh, not thousand island, hundreds and thousands. <laughs> I've done that. I've done that actually when I've ordered an ice cream I've asked for a thousand islands and the girl just looked at me like I was crazy I don't think she knew what it was she's a young girl <laughs> so yeah so she's looking like I love these bunches I'm actually when I saw this doll I loved her so much I'm actually considering I'm putting her on the articulated body I've got because I really like her with pigtails but it's not a definite and she's got molded on clothing but if I swapped her head for the the other doll then she'd have an articulated body and she'd have like totally removable clothes and bendable knees and things so yeah i'm just going to pop chelsea at the table like that hopefully can you see her no you can't i'm just po poking my head around <laughs> you can't see chelsea can you right pop her there now we'll get barbie now she's a really lovely Barbie actually, maybe I need to put a bit further back. She's got very long hair, it looks a little crimped because the way she's been in the box. She's got um, these, what is it, would you say, oh it's a dress, yeah she's got a dress on, it's got velcro at the top half, it's actually got blanket stitching around the neck 
and the armhole. It's got like a, she's got a cap, it's a raglan cap sleeve. And she's wearing, they look a little bit like crocs, white crocs that have got backs on them with a tiny little heel on them. Can you see what I mean? Now at the front, you can see again the dress. This apron, it does, it appears that it's a separate piece, but it's not. It's actually sewn in on the waistline and actually it, it's not lifting because there's a, a piece of plastic holding that, which I can remove if I want to. So she's in, she's got ba the basic articulation. Actually, some of the dolls now, these basic articulated ones, they, um, like their arms go backwards and forwards and side to side. And some of them, their hips come out now, which is quite a new feature, I think. The, they've had a bit, the basic ones have had a bit of an upgrade. Uh, she's got a lovely light pink lipstick. Um, she's got a nice side parting. She's got like a lovely honey blonde hair. Uh, and yeah, we're going to try the, the oven mitt on her. So I'll just prop her up at the back and hope she, she doesn't fall over. Having that um, wide leg um, help bit helps her actually stand up. They're not very good for sitting on chairs all that much though, are they? These sort of dolls. So, we'll pop this oven mitt on. Yeah, so there we go. She can stand, stand here. Now, these, these kind of dolls are better for standing. Doesn't she look lovely? Now, the ones for sitting on chairs are better when they've got a bit of bendability at the knees. So maybe I'll get one of my mini Claire's. I'll just go and get her, get one of them. I've got more than one mini. My mini's here. <laughs> She's got uh, glasses on for sewing, because that's what I wear when I'm sewing, protective glasses. It's a shame I wasn't a bit more careful with my hand, wasn't it? She's doing some Harry Potter knitting, so we'll take a knitting off her. And uh, yeah, she's got a nice watch on now. And I knitted this jumper. It was kind of a pattern that I had to start with. And then I ended up doing my own thing with it because I wanted a big, oversized, jump, uh, shorter jumper. She's got her leggings on. But you can see this doll, she's on a, ma a yoga body, a, a yoga made to move. So uh, I'll get the other chair. So Mini Claire's having the easier life. She's just come in to have some cake and things. And Barbie's doing the baking. Doesn't seem fair really, does it? <laughs> this head of this doll was the Barbie and Tanner. You can see she's got dark eyes. Because obviously most blonde Barbies are blue-eyed, but I'm not blue-eyed, so yeah, I've got hazel eyes. So her legs are a bit crossed here. Bend her a bit more. So there we go. She, See what I'm saying? It takes a bit of faff from Chelsea's falling. <laughs> but she, they sit much better on chairs like that. So there you go. I hope you've liked seeing my Barbie oven. Now this is going to be... Oh, here we go. The domino effect, you move things. This is the upstairs of the dollhouse. So this is going to be going in the downstairs area, but it was just a little bit easier for filming. So I hope you've liked seeing this set get unboxed and seeing everything that you get with it. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Here is, here is the barcode for this product, just in case that's any use to you.